Hey guys, it's Cauliflower, and today is the continuation of my video of my favorites of 2013. I started a beauty tag of 2013, and there were some items I left out, but I'm also doing my best of high end of 2013. So, do 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 Let's get started. Okay, first thing is, of course, just like with every other video I do, I forget something. So, there's a couple of things that I didn't make onto my best of 2013 beauty tag because I just didn't. But I'm going to throw in this video so I have all my bests right in the same video. So, the one thing that I can't believe that I forgot to put in is best eyeshadow of 2013. Well, I'm going to have to do now is my best drugstore and my best high end. But we're going to do drugstore with the ones I forgot. So, the best of 2013 as far as eyeshadows is concerned for me was these little guys. The Mary Kay ones, the Mary Kay signature ones. Oh my God, I love these. I got these, these started coming to me in swaps and they just, I don't know. I don't know what I expected. I probably didn't have high expectations, but I absolutely adore these eyeshadows. They are unbelievably smooth, they're pigmented, they work, blend well, they are just wonderful. They may not be drugstore, where you can't go to the drugstore, but I don't consider them high-end either, so I would say they were definitely favorites of mine as far as 2013 is concerned. As far as any other drugstore eyeshadow, there really isn't any for me because I I tend to use more, mm, I hate to say it like this, higher-end eyeshadows. With that being said, um, the other thing I did not show in my video was a bron bronzers. Bronzers, I'm like, really? Didn't even include the bronzers. I said the pressed powder, but not the bronzers. So my favorite of 2013 was the Rimmel. This is the natural bronzer from Rimmel. It's not too dark, not too orangey. It doesn't make you look like, you know, an Oompa Loompa, as my friend Liz says. And it's just a nice, subtle contour. It's not, you know, hey, you got a hell of a lot of bronzer on. Look at that. Look at that. So that was my favorite. And highlighter. I forgot highlighter. And I was kicking myself because I talked about this one so many times in so many favorites videos. And I would even consider this um, not, well, it is considered a blush. It's sold as a blush, but I use it as a highlighter. It is the ELF Baked, Baked Blush in Pinktastic. And this is wonderful as a highlighter. It is just beautiful. I don't have to go into it. I've talked about it enough through 2013, but those were definite ones. And I did say lipstick, but I didn't say lip glosses, and I'm really shocked that I didn't do that. So I have, I have two or I have three? No, I think I have two. Um, in the lip gloss department for favorites of 2013 was definitely my Physician's Formula, the pH Matchmaker with the little light and the mirror. Love this one. Um, it is just a great, it's an overall, either you can wear it as a tint, you can wear it over your lipstick. It lasts, it's not sticky, it's glossy, it's pretty, it's flattering, it's, I can go on and on and on. Then... There is the Maybelline Super Stay, mm -hmm. I almost screwed up, Super Stay Stain Gloss <laughs> 10. Love this stuff. I know a lot of people will say it's drying. I don't think it's drying at all. When it does dry, it dries so beautifully. It's like a natural berry lip. It looks like your lips are naturally that color, which don't we all want to look like that? So... These were my two favorite lip glosses of 2013. Now, we are out of the drugstore favorites. On to the high-end favorites. There's quite a bit here, quite a bit here. So, I'm going to start with primers. My favorite primers of 2013 were the Tarte. This is the Clean Slate 360-degree creaseless 12-hour Smoothing lip primer. No, not lip primer. Eye primer. Yeah, I really use this thing a lot. Wasn't too sure on 
eye primers, the differences, but this one definitely lives up to its name. It does last. It keeps your shadows on a long, long time. I've done many, many videos with this um, as far as before makeup, and it works wonderful. My favorite overall primer as far as the companies are concerned is Benefits Pore Professional. I mean, really. I mean, it just started like, you know, this just craze on YouTube. Everybody was talking about it. I didn't buy into the hype right away. I always kind of wait. And when I did, I loved it. So I guess I bought into the hype later on, but it is definitely my favorite of 2013. Moving on to BB creams. I didn't really try too many BB creams in 2013 that were higher end, but I did get one towards the end and I fell in love with it and I still love it. It is the Tarte. This is the Tarte BB cream. This one was sent to me in a swap. This is the Amazonian Clay Illuminating Moisturizer Hydrator, yada yada. I love this stuff. It does not make your face shine like a diamond, but it makes it nice and just luminous and not too much. It doesn't add too much of that like uh, glittery, you know, look. okay, here's where somebody laughs in the background. Doesn't make you look like Edward from Twilight. That's what I was getting at. No laughter? Oh, oh well. Okay, and then my next favorite primer was a, a primer I never even heard of, and I tried it, loved it. It is the Secret Agent Color Primer. Um, I don't even know about the company. I know nothing about it. I got this in a swap. I've been using it. I still am using it. It's almost done. I love it. I just think it's a great primer. I do, however, want to throw in as a, you know, just an honorable mention, the Smashbox, but it is so alike that I can't tell the difference. Um, they're both silicone based. They're both really, really good. This one's a little thinner than this one, but this was definitely my favorite overall for 2013. So that's it for primers and BB creams. Next, we're going to go with blush. Again, really didn't have too many uses or too many um, blushes, but I do have one cream and one powder bl 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 blush. Blush! <laughs> I have one cream, one powder blush. Um, the cream is the Tarte one. This is the Tarte Achi oh boy, Achiote Natural Cheek Tint. Got this in a swap as well. Can you can you see a pattern here? I love it. I love this color. It is so 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 pretty. It's got that nice peachy flushed look, and it's not too brash, and it. It stays on really nicely. Really love this one. And then my other favorite was um, Frat Boy by The Balm. I got this in their um, in their website sale when they were having 50% off the entire site. And I really like this as well. Another very nice peachy, kind of a corally, and very subtle. I like the subtle look. I don't like the, oh, look, you've got a lot of blush on. Now, mm -mm. so these two were my favorites for 2013. Favorite pressed powder, I only have one. It is the Kors. I know people say Caress. I say Kors. Love this. This is the Kors um, Multivitamin Compact Powder. I've used this thing up to hit pan. It is just almost gone. I've talked about it in so many favorites videos. I think it's a wonderful powder. I'm not going to go into it. It just is what it is. Okay, next is favorite eyeliner or liquid eyeliner as far as um, high end is concerned. I don't have many of them. I will say that some of the ones that I got in Ipsy bags, like the Starlux one, uh, the silver one, really love that one. I used it last night actually for New Year's. Then there's this old favorite that I've had for quite a long time. This is the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Lionfish. It's a really pretty brown. It's all the way down because I've used the heck out of this pencil. It is wonderfully creamy. It is wonderfully pigmented. It doesn't smudge. It's a really, really nice eyeliner. Nothing bad I can say about it. So there's that. Okay, now we're on to my favorite. There's a lot of these eyeshadows. So I'm going to break it down, because there's quite a few of them, into um, quads, palettes, and neutrals because I have quite a few. <laughs> so first, 
four quads. Oh my god, I talked about this enough times. The Laura Geller. The Laura Geller. This is, it just says Laura Geller. These are the colors. I got this in a swap as well. Laura Geller makeup. Oh, I love these guys. I used these for like weeks and weeks and weeks. Just love these natural, earthy tone colors. Love that blue. I can't. I can't. I just love, love, love. Can you say love? Those shadows. Okay. The next one that is not as pigmented or prominent, but I love it just the same. It is the Tarte, again, the Amazonian Clay. This is the Beauty and the Box. These are so, if I can open it, there it is. Again, very, very similar to the Laura Geller as far as like the colors are concerned, if you can see that. But these are subtler. These are nicely pigmented, but they're subtler. They're not as, you know, the Laura Geller it tends to be a little bit more shimmery. These tend to be just a little less shimmery. But nonetheless, they blend really pretty. Just wonderful colors. They show true to form. They're very pigmented. Love it. And then the final, the final countdown, the final quad I have is my Kat Von D. Oh yeah, starstruck Kat Von D. I've talked about this millions of times. Love these colors. These are the dark neutrals. Love this red orange color. I know some people get a little, you know, um, intimidated by it, but it is, God, I love it. It is more of like a bronzy, just red, or burnt orange. It is so, so pretty. I know I put so much on there. That's how pigmented it is. And that was a little bit of that stuff. Love this. I bought a bigger palette because I just, uh, Oh, can't say enough things about Kat Von D. Definitely one of my favorite quads this year. So these were my favorite quads, trios, what have you. And now we're going to go into neutrals. I have two as far as neutrals are concerned. Well, what wouldn't be without a Urban Decay? This is the Naked Basics. Love. Love it. It was... The only, it is the only naked palette I own. Imagine that. I don't own any of them. I don't own the first, the second, and I don't own the third one that just came out. But I do have the basics. And honestly, for me, it's all you really, really need. It gives you every neutral you need. I would like more shimmery ones, but these are just matte colors. They're good for every day. They're good for, if you want to build up on them, they're good for that as well. But I love, love, love my Urban Decay Naked. And the other palette of neutrals that, oh, God, I love this palette so much, is the Balm's Nude Oh, yeah, you'll see. You'll see. I dug into this one pretty nicely, especially Stubborn and Standoffish. These are probably my two favorite colors. Use these in so many so many of my videos, so many different, you know, natural looks I was going for. I got this for Christmas last year. I used this up pretty well, and I'll continue to use it because it's just a really good neutral nude palette. So there's that. And now my final is my favorite palettes of 2013. And what kind of person would I be if I didn't go for my usual Urban Decay? <laughs> My Urban Decay, I have the Sustainable Shadow Box, which I got off of, I think, Holt Look. I'm not sure. I love this palette. Love it. These are more of the, the uh, pastels. Some of these are just gorgeous, like this half-baked right here, this gold, like, shimmery color. Oh, my God. I love it as a highlighter. Love it as, you know, a lid color. Then there's the flip side color up here, this green. Oh, oh. Beautiful, beautiful color. That is the, one of them. And then the other one is my Urban Decay Mariposa palette. I got this directly from Urban Decay. First of all, look at that. Look at that packaging, okay? And then when you open into it, it is just, of course, if I can get it open. Oh, I love these colors. Love these colors. These are the standard colors that Urban Decay just makes, like the Gunmetal, Mushroom, Spotlight, Limelight. I mean, I have the, the Book of Shadows as well, which was my favorite last year. So, of course, I went into this year wanting more Urban Decay and... That will never end. Urban Decay has taken over my life as far as eyeshadows are concerned. Those are my favorites, bottom line. 
Um, and the last thing that I wanted to talk about as far as high-end was lipsticks. I own a few, none really which really wowed me so much. I have an Urban Decay that I wasn't crazy about. Um, I have a Paula Dorf that's pretty good, but the one that I love the most came in an Ipsy bag and I didn't even get it. This is the Tarte. Um, it just says complexion brightening, fair to light, love it. Love it. It is a nice natural nude with a little pink in the middle. It makes your lips look so just pretty and it's they're moisturizing. That's what I love most about them. They're moisturizing, they're not too brash, and um, I like the packaging too. This little packaging is really adorable. That is it for my high-end favorites of 2013 and the remainder of my drugstore uh, favorites of 2013. So um, that is it, guys. I hope that 2014 holds some awesome stuff as well to share with you. I will be going back to my weekly favorites after this video. Not particularly after this video, but I will be going back to my weekly favorites and I will be going back to my beauty skin jar for the month of January. I have not done that one yet, but I am going to be doing it. And um, that's it, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye!